Mega Man! So, you got the fourth and final key? If it weren't for all your hard work, those pirates would have gotten the keys, and who knows what would have happened. It will be very interesting to see if they do anything now that we have all four keys in our possession. What do you mean, they? Those funny-looking people, the ones that we found on Forbidden Island who said they were ancients. I trust everyone unless they give me a reason not to. But you don't live as long as I have without taking precautions. I have armed guards placed around the room. I can call on them if necessary to protect us and this ship. I just hope we won't need them. What was that? I thought I felt something. Confirmed. All four keys have been recovered. Have you made all the necessary preparations to take control of this ship? Yes. Very well, begin. If necessary, is it acceptable to disable Mega Man Trigger? Even if it means destroying the Master's genetic code? Your primary mission is to recover and secure the keys. Then, with luck, we will be able to salvage the Master's genetic code from Trigger's shell. Understood. Initiating assimilation program. What's happening? We've got to get out of here! What's up with the ship? It's on fire! You don't think... You don't think there's someone else after the keys, do you? If we don't help her, she's probably going to crash. We've got to do something. But if we're not careful, we'll end up going down with them! I don't know if even that blue kid can get out of this one. Baba, baba, baba. You think so too, huh, Bon? Mega Man. You're finally awake. Uh, huh? Where is everyone? Don't you worry. Gats is taking care of them. Mistress Yuna, what are you doing? My, you recognize me as Yuna? Even though I destroyed my original shell? Don't, Don't waste your time, time Geeks. You could become infected by her aberrant, aberrant logic. logic. My, aren't we testy? What have I done? You should ask yourself that question, Yuna. It doesn't matter. Not anymore. I have made my decision. I will not tolerate interference. You're going to destroy the Master's genetic sample, aren't you? Without even consulting me. That's not exactly fair, is it? When you destroyed your original shell, I became the only mother unit for this system. I am within the Master's system parameters. Fairness is irrelevant. 
I thought you'd say that. Mistress Sarah, here are the keys. You must return to Elysium. This unit will follow after recovering the Master's genetic sample. Excuse me, I'm talking with Sarah. Geeks, go! The keys! Now this is a problem. She plans on executing the Carbon Reinitialization Program. Carbon Reinitialization Program? Basically, every human alive will be deleted, wiped out, and the Ancients will be restored. What? Please do not complicate matters further, Mistress Yuna. There are several preparations to be made. Please remove yourself from this ship at once. I don't know if I can do that. Comply or this unit will use deadly force. Your answer? No, Gats. You know what to do. Are you sure, Mistress Yuna? Gats, what are you doing? Though I'm no longer recognized as a mother unit in this body, it means too that I'm not affected by behavioral limiters. I can do whatever I want. Initiating countermeasures. Gats, cease your actions at once. What? What are you doing? Ah! All right, Mega Man. I've separated Geats from his ship. Go up on deck. Geats should be there. Where we go from here is up to you, Mega Man. Do you fight Geats? Or do you give him the Master's genetic sample? Confused? That's not surprising, I guess. After all, you have lost your memory, haven't you? But that doesn't really matter. All that matters is what you think and how you feel now. Now, don't try to think about things too hard. Just be true to you yourself and follow where your heart leads you. Mistress Yuna, Geats is very angry. If we do not hurry, he is likely to destroy the entire ship. Well, Mega Man, what are you going to do? What the? I thought I saw something flying around. But I don't think it was a Reaver bot. Diesel, look! Hey, wait, that's Mega Man! What is going on here? Babu? What are we going to do? <laughs> I'll tell you what we're going to do. This is a chance I've been waiting for. We're going to settle the score with that blue brat once and for all. Wait a minute, Diesel. If that ship crashes, we'll lose the keys and everything else of value on it. Like it or not, we have to help him. Hmm. Ah, I guess you're right, Tron. All right, then. First, we help Mega Man. Then we take the keys. Okay, people, get lively. We've got work to do. Oh, <laughs> Gets. There is no need for us to fight. Why do you insist on opposing me? Sorry, Geats, but I don't believe what Mistress Sarah is planning is right. Mistress Yuna is also in error, abandoning her shell for a carbon. That is no longer Mistress Yuna. It's an abomination, an affront to us all. If you insist on following her, I shall be forced to terminate you. Both of you! Uh, Master Trigger, I'm sorry. I have failed. You are our only hope. You miscalculated. Oh, they make a good couple! Prepare yourself! Stop, Mega Man! You should be able to dodge his attack! Everything, everything that was just basically told to him was just said, but that's told to him in the first game, at the end. And here he is, just standing there silently, as if he has no idea what's being said, or what's going on. Mind you, everyone is just, just talking amongst themselves without even addressing themselves to him. 
see, this is the problem with the writing. It's like they all, it's like they forgot what happened in the previous game. Whatever. This is all your doing. If it weren't for you, this would not have happened. This unit cannot allow Mistress Sarah to be harmed. Do not forget. The Master is the only true human remaining. The system exists only to protect and serve the Master. We exist for this and only this purpose. M mother Remember, the Master says illogical things at times. If he does, ignore him. I do not understand why the Master would wish to have a unit such as that by his side. What would prompt such behavior? The Master is lonely. What's happening? Is this a dream? They scolded you again, did they not? My little friend? Don't be upset. Sarah often reprimands me as well. And do you know why? I can show you. Observe. Who is that? I feel like I know him. Beautiful. Is it not? These lights are one of the beta cities. But these are not ordinary betas. I have modified them slightly. Betas. You call them carbons. Though artificially created, in the end they may be closer to... people than you think. The people living there know thirst, hunger, disease. They suffer all these things and in the end, they grow old and die. But for one brief moment, they shine as bright as the sun. Because they know these hardships, they also know the meaning of happiness. Compared to theirs, our perfect world is cold and sterile. I'd like to ask you to do something for me, Mega Man. Can you take me there? What do you say? Take you there? What? Wait, I, I know him. He's the master. I remember now, I came here, I came to Terra with the Master, and then, then, uh, uh, oh. Come on, Mega Man, if you fall asleep, you'll never wake up again. Open your eyes, I thought I might not be able to make contact with you. Where are we? We're inside one of your memory files, the file you entrusted Data with all those years ago. Memory? Day data? You were badly damaged by Geetz's attack. I'm rebuilding you, using Data's memory to restore your programming. You won't be fully optimized for a while longer, so just sit back and relax. <sighs> data. Restore. Program? Listen to the sounds of everyday life, the sounds of city life, the smell of evening meals being prepared. All this and more we in Elysium have lost. Thank you, Mega Man. Thanks to you I have finally been able to experience this for myself. For 3,000 years, I have been free from hardship and pain, a life of luxury and ease obeying my heart's desires. Seeing these people, Grateful for the simple joys of life, I wonder was I truly happy? I have made up my mind, Mega Man. Carry out my final command. I want you to destroy the system. I realize now that we were wrong. Correct my mistake. Make things right again. This is... A good luck charm. As long as you have it, no one can stop or harm you. Return to Elysium. Delete all data from the library, understand? Please, Mega Man.
what this is all about. Sarah never told me about this. You are... Yuna. Remember me? You... Nah. Sarah is in charge of Elysian's system. I was in charge of Terra's system. My official designation was Mother. Mother? Now I understand why you downloaded your memories of the Master into that little monkey, so they couldn't be scanned or tampered with. Now I understand why you brought the Master here, why you tried to destroy the system. Mistress Yuna, Mistress Sarah has almost reached Elysium. We're running out of time. Unless we stop her, Sarah will execute the Carbon Reinitialization Program. The Carbon Reinitialization Program was meant to be run only after the Master and all other humans had died. It uses their genetic codes to clone new humans. If it's activated, everyone alive on Terra will be eliminated. Only you can stop Sarah from using it. It looks like your self-repair functions are working. We can go now, but you still need to decide what to do. Mega Man! He'll be all right. Though his memory is still fragmented, he can still download whatever he needs from your little monkey friend. Now, Gats and I will get a pod ready that will take you back to Elysium. You can find both of us where you initially came to Terra. The choice is yours, the Master's final wish, or follow the path the system has chosen. Find us when you make up your mind. See you! Look in any library and you can find a history of civilization as we know it, but there's nothing describing the world before we started recording events. I always wondered why. Now I know. We didn't evolve. We were created. One day, boom, there we were, with a language and culture provided for us. I wanted to know who built all the ruins and why they were there. We owe everything to the Master. I don't know whether this master system should be destroyed or not. It's too big for me. We're in your hands, Mega Man. Do what you think is best. There's nothing we can do about it. What will be, will be. Mega Man? I don't, I don't know, know what know your what life you was like before we met, but... Do what you think is right, no matter what. I'll keep looking until I find my parents, but... You're the most important thing in my life. If not for you, I wouldn't have been able to do all the things I've done. That's why I know you'll do what's best for me. For everyone. Come on, let's go. She's waiting for us. Right. Why the hell is he so goddamn comatose? I mean, the whole time he said nothing. That's wrong! That's wrong! That is absolutely wrong. up anymore.
The whole fact of the matter, he said nothing throughout the whole, throughout the entirety of, the, of that interaction. Nothing's happening. Not like before. This is just basically an empty, an empty space, but I'm gonna explore it anyway. Remember when you came here the first time and you saw those strange shapes? It seems that those were people who got trapped here. When we were in your shop. <laughs> Looks like there's nothing left anywhere. I'm not picking anything up. I stated earlier. Didn't find anything? Well, then go back to the dropship and I'll pick you up. See? I think this game had a new director. A new creative director because obviously half these events were told to Mega Man in the ending of the first game. And. The new writer decided just to scrap all of that and just create this comatose character who just listens to things happening around him, but doesn't interact with the characters that are talking to him. Like literally, they just explained to him his entire backstory and all he could do was just stand there with his mouth open. I mean, it's really the shame of you know, these 90s RPGs, actually, these 90s RPGs, because that you always get no context whatsoever. Again, if you were Japanese, I mean, in Japan, if you were Japanese, you would have the luxury of reading a manga adaption, which elaborated on these, on the details. But, because we're Americans, and, you know, time, you know, just keeps on slipping into the future, terrible pun, you get, you get these half-ass RPG, you get these half-ass stories and, I, and plot elements that are never fully realized, you just have to deal with it, of course there was always fan fiction in the 90s, but that's just as far as it goes. And there's really nothing else there's really nothing more to do besides continue on with the plot. Uh, let's go back into Roll's room. There is no mother load! Mega Man, be careful. 
please? I will. That's all you have to say for yourself? name again roll huh uh yeah she was quite worried while you were unconscious and kept asking if there was anything she could do she looked desperate she probably would have done anything anything i told her to if she thought it would have helped to bring you back once i told her you were probably going to be all right she almost started crying you should take good care of her she really likes you how are we doing gats engines are online Merge with the shuttle pod to repair it. Master Trigger, hurry. Mistress Sarah will execute the carbon reinitialization program shortly. What are you waiting for? Get in! Yes, ma'am! You know, I really like Roll and all the other carbons. I think they're worth preserving, even if it means destroying the system. While this unit has reservations about destroying the system, it will do its utmost to assist you. <laughs> well, here we are. Let's do what we came here to do. The rest will take care of itself. Which explains Mega Man Juno.
basically what Data is explaining is that Mega Man is a destroyer unit that was made to basically not only destroy Reaver bots, but different types of master units that control the carbon the, the carbon smuggler system by destroying them they basically would threaten the carbons by resetting the carbon setting on on the island as what Mega Man Juno did in the first game he saw that there were too many carbons on Cadillac's island and seek to reinitialize which is a prop improper word but to basically erate, eliminate the carbons on that island and then restart the system, meaning placing a new batch of carbons that won't get out of hand by overpopulation. Population. The master basically thought that humans deserve the right to live without being controlled by an external force, meaning their creators and their creators' tools. So, the question is, Juno might have been the last of, might have been the last of these type of units that controlled the uh, carbon initiation system. So, that's basically what that's all about. However, I'm guessing that they're, these, peop, these people, basically the mothers, are flesh-based, flesh-based, organic, organic androids. So they're robots, but they have the ability to grow and self-repair, I guess. Now, the weird thing was, as I stated in earlier episodes, the idea was to create a third Mega Man Legends game, which would carry on, which would continue on the, story, the plot, the story of what happens after the events of 2. 3 basically being, I'm guessing, the return. Well, tell you the truth, I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Alright, I'll spot for you, Mega Man. I know Elysium like the back of my hand. thinner in that spot. If you increase the relative gravity, you should be able to break through it. What you see in front of you is a gravity field. The relative gravity on the other side of the entrance is heavier. You should remember all this, Mega Man.